So you want to be a paladin? You want to be the defender of light, the bringer of the ash, defender against the scourge? Well, let's get into it. So today we're going to be going over everything you need to know about Prop Paladin. We are going to be going over stats, gear, rotation, talents, glyphs, etc. So now we're going to start that out here with your talents. The first thing that you got to keep in mind here is some of these are situational and some of these are pretty much set in stone. But we are just going to run through these really, really fast. Now in terms of the interchangeable talents here, you have Pursuit of Justice, which you can remove and you can actually put into Guarded by the Light in case you are not not very interested in your healers or if they are kind of sucking or if there's a lot of raid wide damage and you can't really take anything now you can also remove two points here from rule of law and you can throw them into eternal glory because that will give you a 30 percent chance not to consume any holy power it is still on a 20 second cooldown but you know, it's still nice to be able to just follow up with a Shield of Righteous right afterwards. But we're going to get into that a little bit later. Now, one thing that you can do is you can go three points into Crusade. Skip Judgment and do two points into Eye for an Eye, specifically if you know that you can redirect some damage back to the target. So that is always nice. And everything else pretty much just stays the exact same. You don't really need anything from here. And you don't really need anything else from the Prot Tree. Now, in terms of your Glyphs here, they're all going to be the exact same. You are going to have have crusader strike shield of the righteous seal of truth as your main these are never going to change for your major glyphs you are always going to have lay on hands crusader and for aoe packs you are going to have glyph of consecration and for bosses you are going to swap consecration out for focus shield because it does more damage but it hits only one target so there you go. And as your minor glyphs, only need the glyph of truth. Now, in terms of the rotation here, we're going to have two different rotations. Your first rotation is going to be against a boss, which we'll take as this guy right here. And what you want to do is you want to pop seal of truth, make sure you have that active, and you make sure that you have blessing of might active. Now, you're going to start it out here with popping divine plea, inquisition, trinket, wings, open with avenger shield, then you want to use Crusader Strike, Judgment, Crusader Strike, Consecration, Crusader Strike, Shield of Righteous, Crusader Strike, Judgment, Crusader Strike, Avenging Shield, Crusader Strike, Shield of Righteous, etc, etc. You can keep rinsing and repeating it. And that's pretty much it. So you want to always use Crusader Strike when it's up. And you always want to use a filler spell in the middle, as you can see there. So I'm using Crusader Strike. And then I'm using something else to put it on cooldown. And that's pretty much all we got there. Next here, we're going to go over an AoE pack. So same thing, super simple. You're going to pop Divine Play, Inquisition, Avenging Wrath, and then your Trinket. So you're going to open it out here with Shield. And you're going to use Hammer of Righteous instead another hammer of righteous and you're going to use inquisition if it's off of cooldown here next you're going to use consecration inquisition and then you're going to use holy wrath and you just keep rinsing and repeating it and using your avenger shield whenever you can our next thing that we're going to go over here is going to be your defensives and what you bring to the raid as a prop paladin now first of all if there are no other paladins you are going to have blessing of might which is really useful next thing here is going to be a global defensive it's called divine guardian it's going to reduce 20 percent of all damage raid wide for six seconds so that's especially really useful during key moments in fights where the raid is taking a bunch of damage and the healers either can't out heal it or they're running out of mana so they need a little bit of help now, one thing also to keep in mind is that you also have your own defensives here, and I'm just going to go over them very briefly and when I use them. However, just as a recap, starting from Cataclysm and going all the way to Mr. Pandaria, in raids, you have scenarios which occur, which you have tank busters, which are, if you don't know, when the boss damages you as a tank a lot and at the same time it does raid wide damage or someone just messes up on a mechanic and causes raid wide damage now during these scenarios the healers won't generally be able to split their mana and their global cooldowns efficiently here so it's going to kind of cause you to mess up 
or die or a lot of DPS to die. During these scenarios, you are going to want to use some defensives. Now, just to kind of get into what our defensives are. First of all, you have your Holy Shield. It's going to increase the amount your shield blocks by an additional 20%. So that doesn't mean that you're going to block 20% more. It's going to mean that you are going to be taking 20% less damage on top of what you have already being blocked. So for example, if I block an attack, I'm not going to be stopping 31% of the damage. I'm going to be stopping 51% of the damage. Now, next thing here is going to be your Divine Protection. It's just going to reduce all damage being taken in by 20% for 10 seconds. So that is pretty useful. Now, next year we have Arden Defender. Now, this is the same thing as Divine Protection. However, there's a kicker. If you are going to die over the next attack, then you actually are just going to be healed up to 50% of your health instead of dying. So it's going to save you from a tank buster if another tank goes down and you're at like 2% and your healers have nothing left in the tank and you just need to get it down and you got no B reses. Well, that's a scenario that you can use this in. Now, the next one here, and probably my personal favorite, is going to be Guardian of the Ancient Kings. It's just going to reduce all incoming damage received by 50%. Now, this is what I like to use when there's a tank buster mechanic and a bunch of raid wide damage going out because you are going to be pretty much able to block and live through, I would say, 99% of mechanics while you have this button active. All right, next thing here, we're going to go over into stats. There are two distinct things that you need for stats. First, you're going to have your offensive set of stats, and then you're going to have your defensive set of stats. The first thing that you need to make sure of is that you have at least 26% expertise. Now, this means that the boss cannot dodge you at all. Yes, they can still parry you until 56. However, the first milestone here is just to make sure that you have 26 expertise. The second thing you need to make sure of is that you have enough hit chance to be able to hit the boss fully without missing. Now for your defensive abilities, the first thing to keep in mind is your CTC. The CTC is essentially all of your dodge parry block mixed up together along with your miss chance. So for example here we have 13, 12, and 41 plus your miss chance is going to be 4.4%. So my current CTC is 70.4% and the the easiest way to actually get your CTC up initially is going to be to throw on everything with mastery possible. This is because you are going to have the most amount of value from it. So you're going to get a higher percentage of CTC the higher your mastery is because you're not going to actually have enough stats across all pieces of gear to get your parry and dodge to get that percentage. So the first thing you need to focus on is hit your 26% expertise then get your mastery all the way up. Literally every single piece should have some mastery on it and that'll help you get your block chains way, way higher. Then third of all, you're gonna try to get your hit rating as close to 0% miss as possible. And then fourth is in a parry, dodge, etc., and stamina after that. I'm going to leave a link in the description below on exactly which pieces to go for and what is your pre-raid biz as well as what is your raid biz. And uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Peace out for now.